what is my shirt doing? I probably should have buttoned that. Whatever. Let me tell you what the heck it is before I just keep rambling. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and buoys for you today. And since I filmed last week's Friday favorites before Thanksgiving, some of these things I'm gonna talk about I actually wore on Thanksgiving, and then I've got some other randoms that I just wore other times. So I've got a lot, a lot of like warm tones, I've got some neutrals, I've got some reds, so just kind of like a hodgepodge of things. So lots of fun things to talk about, so let's jump into it. So for my nails this week, I was wearing like a coppery polish, but I forgot to grab it, and honestly, I know it was a limited edition one, and I think it was a Hunger Games collection, either from OPI or China Glaze. I don't remember, but if I can find it, I threw it in a drawer. If I can find it, I'll list it down below for you. It's somewhere in my bathroom, but I'm not wearing it anyway to be able to show you, but it was a pretty coppery color, but it was limited edition, so there's that. But as far as my eyes, I kept grabbing for my Morphe 35O palette. This is so pretty, so nice. I do have a tutorial on this on my channel um, using this palette, and I do have a blog post as well. So if you wanna see swatches and all that, I'll list that down below for you guys. But the only negative about this palette is it's like the frenzy of trying to actually get the thing. <laughs> it's one of those like in and out of stock, crazy situations, but just follow them on Instagram, and I don't know if they have an email, an email sign-up list. I don't think they do, but I know that they announce it on their Instagram, like when it's gonna come back in stock, because it, it comes in and out fairly often, um, but it's beautiful. I think it's one of those palettes that's worth sticking with it and trying to get it, because it is really beautiful. I mean, like the metallic shades, like this one is like ridiculous. I use this um, in that tutorial that I have on my channel. And then these two, I just am obsessed with these for blending shades. They're awesome. And then I've been using this one on my lower lash line a lot. It's just a beautiful palette. It performs so nicely. The matte shades really do blend really nicely. The metallic shades are ridiculously pigmented and beautiful. They wear well throughout the day. It's a good value. You get a lot of shadows for like $22, 35 shadows for $22. It's beautiful. I have several Morphe palettes and this one's definitely my favorite of all of them. So again, you can get on their list or if they even have one or follow them on Instagram or whatever you have to do to get it, it's worth getting it. It's a really good palette. So on Thanksgiving, I was wanting a little bit of glitter on my eyes. So I grabbed my eye candy glitter in Candy Coin. I really don't know any way I can show you this without making a huge mess everywhere. Like when you open it, it kind of goes everywhere, but I really love these glitters from Eye Candy. I bought this one and quite a few others at the makeup show in Dallas, and they're all beautiful. Like, I got the mixing medium. I don't actually know what they call it, but like the liquidy stuff to be able to apply it to make it stick. And then I did use a little bit of Too Faced Glitter Glue, and it just worked so well. It really stuck. It was easy to apply, really pretty and glittery, and it lasted well throughout the day. So. You know, if you are looking for some glitters, these are really, I mean, other than maybe like LA Colors glitter, these are really the only ones I've tried so far, but I like them. I think they're really beautiful glitters and they work nicely. And then I also wore my MAC Melon pigment this week. I'm wearing this on my eyes today with my 35O. This is just such a gorgeous pigment. It really is, oh gosh, how would I describe this? It's like a gold, copper, orange. It's got all those kind of colors going on together. So it just makes this awesome, like warm duochrome. It is beautiful. Oh my gosh, what is my shirt doing? I probably should have buttoned that, whatever. But <laughs> it's just a gorgeous pigment. Oh my goodness, I love this one. It's one of my favorites from MAC and it just looks beautiful like it's already warm itself but with the 35 it like kicks it up a notch even more so it just goes really well with those warm kind of colors but really you could just get like a chocolatey brown and pair it with it and you've got like a complete eye look right there and then for blush this week i broke out one of my favorite jordana blushes this is in rose silk and i know that this is a favorite of a lot of people it's just a really beautiful like natural mauvey pink. So it goes with a lot of different things, has a really nice like finish to it where, I don't know, like it's 
pretty much just a mat, but it doesn't like drag or anything. So it really blends nicely into the skin. So it looks really natural. I'm building up the color a lot so you can really see what the color is. But if you apply it lightly, I have this on today. If you apply it lightly, it's very natural. It goes with a bunch of different makeup looks. I mean, you know, you can see it's like a pinky color, but I have it on with a lot of warm tones. And I feel like it kind of like, I don't know, goes with it, balances it out. Um, and again, the Jordana blushes are super inexpensive really nice um last well throughout the day i mean they're just awesome blushes for the price i do wish that they didn't have the little screw top that's the only thing i would change is the packaging's not perfect but it's so inexpensive it's totally fine and then i actually really like this blush that i got in my boxy charm box this month this is the studio makeup soft blend blush in wildflower this has such a nice texture and formula to it it honestly reminds me of the jordana rose silk um or really just multiple Jordana blushes in that it has like that like buttery texture to it but it's not too soft where it blends away but then it's not too gritty where it like sticks to your skin and doesn't blend well it really just has such a nice formula to it this color isn't the same as rose silk this is a lot um warmer it's kind of more of like it's it's like a coral except it has a lot of red and terracotta undertones to it it really is a beautiful blush for this time of year. Um, and you can apply it lighter. I applied it pretty heavily there so you could see the color. But if you apply it lightly, it goes with a lot of different makeup looks, wears well throughout the day. And I think the packaging is really pretty on it too. I think they said this retails for like $17. So I think that's a fair price for it. And it's just a really nice blush. I love it. And then for lips, I got this in my BoxyCharm too. And oh my goodness. I love this so much. I wore this a bunch of different times during the week. Either I would start out wearing it during the day or I would have it in my purse. This, like I almost forgot about it because it was in my purse. Or even if I started out wearing something else, I would switch to this and like reapply with this in the middle of the day because it's such a pretty color and it's really comfortable on the lips. Let me tell you what the heck it is before I just keep rambling. This is the Manicadar, and I kept the box because it doesn't say the name of it on the actual product. This is the Lip Locked Priming Gloss Stain, and this is in the color All of Me. It is just a gorgeous pinky mauve with a little bit of like muted purpley undertones. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I love it for the color but I also really love it for the formula. Again, that's a cool thing about, you know, subscription services is that I've never tried this brand before, but I love this so much. I would buy more of these for sure because the formula is just so nice. It feels like kind of like a lip lacquer on your lips. Um, and it's not like a sticky gloss sort of a feel. It's like the comfort, comfort of a comfortable gloss, but then it sticks around longer like a sticky gloss would, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know, it's just awesome. And isn't that like the prettiest pink? It's like a, just a mid-tone mauvey pink. It's amazing, I love this so, so much. So I was excited to see it in my box just because I always love color cosmetics. But then once I tried it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is awesome. And then the red combo that I got on my lips right now, I'm wearing two Milani lipsticks. First I have Matte Confident, and then I have Best Red. So first I applied Matte Confident and then I did a little bit of Best Red over it. These are both gorgeous reds. You don't need both of them. You don't even need to layer them. I don't know why I did, I just did. So this one is um, Best Red. So it's kind of more of like a classic bright sort of a red. So there's that one. And then Matte Confident is more like a dark, more of like a dark, um, I don't know, dramatic, brooding red. Does that make sense? I don't know. It's, it's just more intense and just darker. So there it is. Now this one has um, the matte, Confident has that vanilla scent that's so nice. This one has the more kind of like watermelony scent that so many people don't like. I'm fine with both of them. I prefer the vanilla, but this one is, I'm okay with that one. Um, but yeah, they're both just beautiful reds. They apply nicely. They're really comfortable on the lips. They work well together. They wear well throughout the day and they're affordable. So yeah, you guys know I love my drugstore lipstick and 
these are two awesome ones from the drugstore. And no fooies this week, so just all things that I was loving. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and as always, let me know down below what you were loving this week, or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! There are, like, tree people outside working on the trees, and their machine sounds like a fart. <laughs>